Another big night in the A-League coming your way from Brisbane as the Raw play host to the winners of the Premier's Plate, Melbourne City, who claimed their first A-League silverware on the weekend. Hello, Speedy and Robbie. Yes, it is, uh, it's magnificent here tonight. It's a pity the crowd isn't bigger, but uh, to celebrate Melbourne City's uh, inaugural championship and uh, long-deserved. And uh, they, they have truly been the best team in the competition all year, and uh, I think they're in... Uh, Probably in good enough form at the moment to maybe do some damage tonight. Here's Marco Tilio trying to do just that. Good save, sharp save from Jamie Young. And no tapping in the middle as Brisbane cleared the danger at the expense of a corner. Other six, other six. Corner routine for Tilio to whip it in. It was awkward for Brown that time. Neville was there to tidy up. Counter attack potential as Wenzel Halls. Able to link up with teammates, he was clipped, but here is the advantage. Young Alex Parsons celebrating his first senior deal, plays for the penalty and earns it. Daniel Georgievsky in the unfamiliar centre-back role says, I got the ball, make sure VAR checks it out, but for the time being, it is a spot kick. And is it clear and obvious error? Comes back inside there, at that point, the chance looks done. I'm not sure they're going to overturn that, but for me, my opinion, that's harsh. Ready to take the spot kick once it's approved, and it has been against young Sutton on his debut. And Jay O'Shea, with pinpoint precision, puts Brisbane on top. And if they can get the win tonight, it will be massive for the Raw. Well, the VAR check didn't take long then. As I thought, I didn't think they'd overturn it, but what a superb penalty from Jay O'Shea. Kept his composure and dispatched it. Here's the penalty, comes inside, and he gets the ball, but he gets the player as well. No clear and obvious area of that. And what about that for a penalty? Lots of power, height, no chance for Sutton. Dispatches it into the back of the net, and it's a great st start for Brisbane. Courtney Perkins with a lovely pass out. Brown... Helping it on to Daly. He's got Champness working for him. Important defensive work again by Galloway. He'll have his hands full tonight. Yeah, but you see Galloway's done his homework and as soon as Champness gets the ball, he's closing him down very quickly. Once he gets a run at you, Champness, he's very hard to play. Baron Gare with space to exploit here. Great running by Subaki. Doesn't he cover the ground well? Cutting back inside, taking on Courtney Perkins. Subaki, how did that not go in? Super play, almost deserved a goal. Well, as it leaves the boot, you think this is going in the corner of the net. He comes back on the inside, faints and faints again when it opened up on his left foot. And this one flashed across the face of goal. Good. The width from Galloway had to use his head to bring it down. Risky header back into the middle from Gamulka. Latched onto by Wenzel Halls, who's so sharp with the turns and plays in Champness. Oh, what a trick, and it's another penalty. Clearly clipped by Georgievsky. Took the invitation to go down. Referee waves that one off. Well, it looked like that he's just clipped him. Ball in behind, and he, that little trick. For me, it looks like there's contact there. Brisbane playing their way out. And there'll be space as a result. Parsons around Gamulka. Kept it alive as well for Daly, who pushed into space cleverly in the wide area. Parsons wanted it back. What a burst. And squeezes it home. The Alex Parsons project has been a pleasure to watch throughout this season. Gets the better of young Sutton in goal. And what a way to celebrate his first senior professional contract signed during the week Alex Parsons take a bow well he beats the keeper at the near post and that, that'll be something for the City to have a look at it in Sutton but take nothing away, look he actually points to Daly, put it there he doesn't even need another touch, perfect weight on the pass to be fair to Sutton he's pretty close to him and he hits it with some power and does it go underneath him? That goes in at the near post. And that's the part the keeper's got to protect, but he did hit it with incredible power. We have just loved watching this guy. 
since he burst onto the scene. He's had to be patient, plugging away at NPL level. Youngest of three brothers, two older brothers. We want to be goalkeepers. Alex Parson says, right, you can go and go, and I can uh, work out how I can bamboozle goalkeepers when I get to a, a senior professional level. And uh, young Matt Sutton found out the hard way on debut for City. And City, for all their possession, decent ball this for McLaren and almost kept out somehow by the late hand of Jamie Young. The two Jamies head to head again. Well, I'm like you. I thought it was in. Yeah. And somehow he's got a hand to it that textbook run we see from McLaren gets in behind the defender and he thought he'd scored. Corey Brown, well found by Champness. Something with a decent punch clear. Parsons keeping it away from Tilio. Oh, lovely ball for Daly. And Parsons wins another penalty, does he? Tilio, no. Two penalty claims in quick-fire succession turned down by Alex King well, that, that time. Well, they'll have a look. I don't think the one on Parsons is a penalty. I think he clearly got the ball, but tremendous pressure. And great feat from Parsons. He really is something... What do we call him an emerging star? Well, he's emerging very quickly. Yep, he's been asked to come and have a look. So one of those two comings together in the box looked like a penalty for mine when Tilio Which made the one? challenge. The second one. Clear contact after getting the ball away and he's absolutely uh, cleaned up by Mills. That's a whack on the leg, which is a foul anywhere else on the pitch. We don't need to look at the next one. Parsons on right Tilio. Thought, penalty given. Yeah, I thought the first, it was the first one that was the one that looked like it. I didn't think the second one was. And that's the one that he's given. Does O'Shea switch it up? Or does he go the same way? O'Shea, clever, right up the middle and lift it again. And he has his first brace at A-League level. And Brisbane are dominating this one on a massive night for the club. But like you said, a battle against Sutton and O'Shea, and O'Shea goes straight down the middle. But the important thing is, is he lifts it. Once you lift it that high, you rarely see a goalkeeper save them. Scott Neville. Like a slider through Gamorka. again. Parsons, left footer on top of the net. Capable of pinging that in the top corner. He doesn't need much of a cider. That's a brilliant left foot. I think the biggest thing to note about this half is that Brisbane are playing much higher up the pitch. If you look at where they're actually pressing Melbourne City in their own half in the first half, first 45 minutes, they tended to drop off a little bit and try and condense space, and they were defending a fair bit in their own penalty box, but uh, now they've got the wind in their sails, two goals to the four at half time, and uh, they've made the most of that lead, now putting the pressure the other way around. Great save again, Young denied McLaren, and it was Sabaki on the follow-up. Tilio clearly dragged back by Burke Gilroy. And this will be the final action. One final set piece to face up to to keep that clean sheet for Jamie Young and his crew. Whipped in. It's a comfortable take for the shot stopper. He made some super saves tonight when needed. And Brisbane can bank the three points, which goes a long way towards securing finals football this season. They're up to fourth now with designs on hosting a final at this place. The Premiers, who made a host of changes tonight, no match for the Roar in the end as Jay O'Shea celebrates his first brace at A-League level. Both came from the spot after Alex Parsons put on a show tonight. We might just be chatting to him a little later on, I reckon. And full time 
at Morton Daly Stadium tonight. It is Brisbane 3, Melbourne City 0.